Greetings, YouTube. The doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Marvel Contest of Champions. And it is week three. It's Wednesday. It's week three of the side quest. So we're going to go ahead and do a run because we got a couple extra keys. I don't really need to worry about um, this, the, the special objective right now, but we're going to take a look at that. We'll take a look at the new maze week three, and we'll take a look at the new vault. So to... to um, do this one this we can get these keys which we can get looks like four keys we need to defeat female champions while using mutant champions that's pretty easy to do there's female champions all over the place so those are pretty easy i'm not going to go through on how to get those first i want to talk about don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like this video hit the like button if you have any questions or comments please leave a question or comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when i've got another video out. okay so we've got that um, we've also got to 100% the Queen's Vault. So we're going to talk about that. Remember, there's a little tiny extra path that you have to take. So uh, we've got our extra keys. There they are right there. I got four of them. And, uh, and we're going to get another four. So here is our week three right here. It looks like it is a... It's, it's a vulture, but there's also a shocker in there. And then the Queen's Vault has a uh, Lady Deathstrike in it. So let's take a look at the Maze Week 3. We are going to be doing the path that is to the north and to the right, which is going to start with Symbiote Supreme got breakthrough so he's got armor rating each time we strike we reduce it buffet over time so if we have a buff it's going to get nullified and then they get a regen so we're going to try and not use buff and then the defender's healing abilities can't be reversed that's okay that just works with the buff the buffet and the champs we're going to use are Phot photon hercules scorpion we got a heimdall in for our insurance and then we're going to put a human torch in here so we've only got three to do symbiote supreme morning star and the hood and then we get our uh, key and our mysterium i need to make sure that i am not over i'm not over on mysterium always make sure you're not over Forty thousand is what we can get and then we're going to get this mystery opponent who is either a shocker or a vulture so they've got armor shred weaponry. So when inflicted with an armor break debuff, the defender gains a fury. Power armor three. When either champion gains a bar of power, the defender gains an armor up. Bare necessity, which is the thing that we have to watch out for. The defender has a 60% chance to auto block basic attacks. The auto block counts as a well timed block. This goes on cooldown for eight seconds when the defender is knocked down. So we have to knock them down. So a lot of heavies or a special one, we're going to end up using Hercules. Striking the defender refreshes the cooldown, so it's pretty easy to keep it turned off. And then every 12 seconds, the defender gains an unstoppable. If we're far away, we gain it. All right. So uh, let's take a look. That's the team we're going to use. Let's take a look at this week's vault, which is the Queen's Vault. Again, we're getting a pretty nasty champion. And here she is, and it is a Lady Deathstrike. She's got Defender launches heavy attacks 30% more often, which is pretty good because those are easy to, to defend. But we got Cold Feet, so we become rooted during their heavy attack. So we're going to have to deal with some root. Fatal Fury, when the Defender reaches 15% health, they gain an indefinite Fury. So we're going to have to watch out for that. And an indestructible passive for 12 seconds. Now... When that's combined with destructive feedback, that's not going to be fun. So destructive feedback is at the start of the fight, the defender gains a kinetic shield preventing damage for up to 10 seconds. While active, all that damage, all damage that is attempted by the attacker, excluding a special attack three, is stored. If the defender strikes the attacker or the block while the shield is active, all stored damage is dealt to the attacker. So there's two ways to do this. You can either start hitting her block and not ever get hit while that's going on for that 10 seconds, and then it gets blasted into her. Or 
When the shield expires, all store damage is dealt to the defender. The shield has a 15-second cooldown, so you get 15 seconds to just blast her without having to worry about it. I'm going to bring in Hercules for this one because we can take a whole bunch of damage and not have to worry about um, getting blasted from that too much. But we can't get hit, so I, I'm going to try to do... Her attacks are pretty easy to avoid... We just can't get hit from the heavy. All right, let's begin here. Here's our key. Let's begin here. And we're going to go north. And we're going to go north again. And I'm going to I'm going to come out of here and I'm going to take a picture here. And okay, and we want to go back in. I want to take that for the thumbnail here. And then um, we are going to start with Photon. And again, we've got the buffet over time, which I'm not too worried about. We just can't dodge things because then it'll give a... So boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Okay, there we, we dodged something there. Now we're doing some really good damage. There we go. There we go. Okay. Easy peasy. This is a rank three awakened seven star. And she is very powerful. And I think we're going to continue uh, with, using, with using her. Uh, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's switch it up. Let's use our guy here. Flame on. Our... Six star awakened, maxed out, ascended human torch. And boom, boom, boom. I am not. Melty, melty, melty. Man, I'm missing those parries a lot. Wow. Missed all of those parries. All of them. That was terrible. Okay. And last guy is the hood. I think we'll bring in um, Scorpion. And we're going to turn on his shock ability. Oh, no. We won't do that. We will turn on Ruptures. I can't remember if that guy is immune to shocks or not. I don't think he is, but I'd rather do Ruptures. So. Boom. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's what I was trying to get him to do. Very good. Boom, 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 boom. This should take him out. There we go. Very good. Very easy. Very easy. So there we did. We used three different champions to get done what we needed to get done. And um, we got Hercules in here. Uh, and it's going to be a shocker. So I think... I think we're going to just start with Hercules. So we got to watch it. We got to knock this guy down is what we got to do. And we, we got to watch the timer for the unstoppable. So let's do that. And that worked. Okay. okay let's get away from him. got me again. Okay, we knocked him down. Okay, come at me. Come at me. Come on, dude. Yeah, that sucks. 
Okay, we're going to do this because he's going to pop his uh, special three here in just a second. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I'm an indestructible right now, so I'm good. Okay, we're going to pop that now. And I think the next time I come in here, I'll bring in a Hulk because Hulk gives him extra feats of strength and I'll do some more damage. Okay. All right, there we go. There's that. And we got our key. So now we're going to go in the Queen's, uh, Queen's Vault and we're going to bring in a Hercules. And um, we want to keep her, you know, it doesn't really matter. We can keep her do a special one or a special two. But we got to watch out for the destructive feedback. That's the big thing is the destructive feedback. And I think I'm going to put on a 15%. And I got plenty of these, so we'll put on a 20%. Okay, and here we go. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get busted for a whole bunch of damage now. Wow. All right, there we go. Ah. All right, so we're just gonna stay. Destructive feedback is not one of my favorite. Not one of my favorite uh, things in the game. But Hercules does it. And we didn't actually go down all the way either. So he can do it. I think my strategy for destructive feedback is just going to be to stay away for 10 seconds and, uh, and then bust them. Bust her up while she's got, um, uh, while she's, she's got, I got 15 seconds. Okay. Uh, I'm going for the seven star shards. So we've got seven star shards. We've got a 5% tier six. We've got 30 tier two. We've got 306 star. That's the relic stuff. I really can't stand that. We got another 5% and we've got seven star shards. So we're going to go for the seven star shards. There it is. And then we go to the last. Now, one thing I do want to point out, just remember, this right here, there is a little bit of this left that doesn't require a key. You do have to do that to get 100% on this and get the special objective. All right. That is what I have for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.